What's going on team? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to the channel. I'm James Sprague. I'm a two times CrossFit Games athlete. I'm beyond excited to share my fitness journey with y'all. All things training, all things day to day life. Let's get after it. So it is week three of the open now. and It is our closing finish. That means we got to give it our all just like the last two. Last week was so much fun. I got to prove it to myself that I can hang with the big dogs and be up there if I give it my all. Of course, this year, just doing the open for fun and enjoying it and being one and done with everyone I do because this is not the end result. This is just the start to an amazing season. Of course, with the open being the first of four stages this year, I'm not putting as much pressure on myself because like I said, there's four stages. So just going out for each one, having fun, giving it my all. I made a new goal for myself with those same standards I just talked about. I want to be top 50 in the open on that front page of the leaderboard. I think it would be sweet being 18 years old. I'm a big believer in making my goals public so then everyone can hold me accountable to them and then I know, hey, it's out there. I gotta do it now. Hey y'all, last week, best week. Give it your all, go have some fun, go do what you came to do and prove it to yourself and no one else. Hope y'all crush this week and do it with a smile. Ah! Okay, once again, it's freaking go time. On my way to the gym right now, I am super freaking pumped to get this open done with, but also um, close it out as strong as I possibly can. As I said, my goal is top 50 in the open. So a um, couple goals I have in mind going into this workout are trying to go sub nine, breaking up the early sets of gymnastics to go hard on the sets of bar muscle ups in the end trying to hang on to those bar muscle ups in three to four sets. We'll see what happens. I hear it's a quite deceiving workout. And then um, hopefully hit a big number on that lift. Um, I'm way less nervous for this one for some reason. I'm just excited. I'm gonna be throwing down at Invictus for this one again, next to the world's fittest man in the 50 to 54 division. His name is Kevin Coaster. He is an absolute stud. By the way, that new Justin Bieber album though, mm-hmm. Last thing on a more serious note, my goal is to keep my knees healthy because I got a long road ahead of me. I've been dealing with some tendinosis in my knee. It's not fun, but I'm um, getting through it. And so today, if it's hurting, I just won't push as hard. Um, but if it's feeling good, you best know we going for it. Okay, so guys, this 21.3 and 21.4, it's gonna be a lot of strategy. There's a lot of things we just aren't gonna expect going into the workout, and when we get into that workout, we're gonna be hurting. So make sure you account for your grip dying, your legs dying, and conserve as much as possible. My plan is just conserve, 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 until I get to those muscle ups, give it my all, and then see what happens on that bar. Hopefully, we throw up a big weight. Goal is 287 plus. Um, just make my statement public, so now I have to hit it. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I like to just write everything out on paper so it's visual for me. I'm a visual learner. Uh, when I write things down visually, it holds me accountable too. So, got everything down, notes here, everything a little nitty gritty. This is what goes into performance right here, is all the stuff behind the scenes. So, if you're ever wondering, like, what does a CrossFit Games athlete do in their warm up? They visualize, they get everything warm, they get mentally ready.
right, so we just got done with 21.3 and 21.4. We had a killer time here in Victus, Seattle. Threw down next to the fittest man, the 50 to 54. He's a stud, Kevin Coaster. Um, we go to this gym for the past six months since it's open and the environment is unparalleled here. Um, little review of this workout, you know, make sure you know your splits, make sure you know how you're gonna break everything up before you go in. Go in with a game plan. That's how you're gonna succeed. And um, the weight felt very heavy. As everyone can tell who did this, you didn't lift what you probably wanted to, but that's okay, because we capped it off with a bang. So, um, overall, happy with the performance, hungry for more, and um, doing it with a smile every day.